I'm still tired when I wake up. Like my dreams still near. It's no spot of my best friend now. Get me away from here. I got plans, I got things to do. Gotta do my hours, do my hours. Why is everything so damn hard? Gray skies and rain clouds. I postpone everything. Worrying about stupid things. When is it my turn to start living? Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabara, it's Barb, and today we are going to be deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing the entire kitchen. I have been needing to do this for over a year now, it just has not gotten done, but we finally got it all done. It took me three days, I wasn't working on it constantly, but I kept at it until it was all done and I was so happy that I did there was so many times that I just wanted to give up and forget about it like I get really burnt out um, organizing and going through things but I pushed myself and I got through it and I wanted to take y'all along with me if y'all need any cleaning motivation any motivation to tackle these hard tasks before the holidays if you're having company to your home this Thanksgiving or this Christmas it just it will help a lot for you to be organized and have everything where you need it it also it just it makes me feel better um, knowing in my mind that every single drawer every single cabinet is organized in the kitchen everything has a place and it feels amazing I also just it makes everything easier as far as when I'm looking for something when I'm cooking when I'm baking I just I've been needing to do this and I'm so glad that I did so I wanted to take y'all along with me and get this place all cleaned up I wanted to show y'all all the befores it was a disaster I had been just throwing things in and I know a lot of moms out there can understand this when you're rushed you really don't want to clean the kitchen you don't want to put away the dishes you just start throwing things in cabinets yeah that's what I do a lot when I'm rushing just to get the house to good shape for if we're having company or whatever but I really wanted to get in and deep clean and go over every single cabinet and in every single drawer and like I said it feels great to finally have it done it was worth the three days of work as you can see there was drawers that I could not even open and now they're completely organized there is nothing in this kitchen that doesn't belong in this kitchen so that makes me so happy I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope it gets you motivated and all the things. So before we go any further in today's video, I would like to thank Asoko for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me the LED under cabinet lights and I am loving them. I've had them for about a week and I like I said I've been wanting under cabinet lights forever you can also use these in your your uh, hallway your bathroom anywhere where you need lighting these will work they are motion censored um, so like I said anywhere you can put these little magnets they are heavy-duty magnets and they send you quite a few and they have the sticky side which is extremely sticky they probably won't come off I'm I've only had them for a week of course but just judging by how sticky they are they're not going anywhere um, the packaging was real nice you don't have to I I wouldn't see these getting messed up in shipping but this is everything that you get in the package the lights are very thin and very sleek I like that when I put this on I thought that the extra magnets were just extra magnets but it probably is best to go ahead and line all four on each one they do give you four magnets for each one and I went ahead and did that after the fact but I wanted to show y'all really quickly how easy these are to install they are extremely easy 
um, which was the whole concept behind this brand. Um, they wanted something that was easy and anybody could do. Anybody could use these. There's no wiring and all that stuff. Like sometimes when you put under cabinet lights, there's a lot of wiring and different things that go on with it. But these were super easy to install. And like I said, the magnets are very strong. So they're not going to go anywhere once you have them under there. And all you do is you charge them and you put them under there. They have different modes that you can set them on. These are dimmable, so if you don't want the light as bright, you can go ahead and turn it down by just pressing and holding the button. So if you want just a dim light, that's cool, but I, of course, will keep mine nice and bright because I just love under cabinet lighting. I feel like it's a game changer when you're cooking or anything in your kitchen or even the way it looks. It just brings something to the kitchen. This is them at nighttime. You can see how much light they put out. It's very bright. It's very nice. And I absolutely love them. So thank you, Asoko, for sponsoring that portion of today's video. I will have those lights linked down below in my description box so you can go check them out and get you some. I absolutely love them. So anyway, now we're going to start here in the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and clean out this fridge. It needed it really bad. And then we're going to work around the rest of the house. Um, I mean, around the rest of the kitchen. We had so much to do in here. Like I said, three days of cleaning. And it was absolutely crazy, but it felt amazing after it was done. I'm going to go ahead and wash whatever Tupperware, whatever dishes that I had. That's one tip that I have. If you're going to go ahead and do a big declutter, big organizing thing in one room of the house. Make sure that room is as clean as you can get it on the surface so that way you're not fighting with other things while you're trying to get the deep cleaning and the decluttering and organizing done. So I always make sure all the dishes stay washed. Um, just try to keep the surface, surface area as clean as possible so that way it makes it easier when you're decluttering and cleaning other things and then you won't get so overwhelmed. So that is one tip that I have for y'all. Just make sure the surface area of whatever room you're working in is clean and ready to go um, so you have some nice working surface. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these dried up and put away. And like I said, it's another thing when you're organizing and stuff, you want everything that you're going to be putting in the cabinet or the drawer actually there so you can see the size if it's going to fit if it's going to you know where it's going to go so that's another reason I like to have all the dishes and everything clean before I start organizing so the cabinets haven't been wiped down in quite a while the whole kitchen is white when it comes to the cabinet so everything you can see everything uh, the only good thing is is it doesn't show up as much on video um, except for when you're up really really close so that's nice it does hide but I'm sure that when people come over or whatever you know they always say that people notice things that you don't notice in your house so they might notice that it's filthy on the side of the stove but you don't notice it because you think that you just did a great job cleaning the kitchen because you washed dishes and wiped on the counters that day so it's always something that needs to be cleaned but we tackled everything and I am just so happy that it's done. I don't have to worry about this for a while and hopefully I can just stay on top of it, put things where they go and keep things clean. So to clean my cabinets, I'm using the Murphy oil soap mixed with water. A lot of y'all probably don't know, but this is a double wide and in the um, actual owner's manual, they do suggest that we clean the cabinets with the Murphy oil soap. So, because these are not real wood, um, but I just add a little bit of water with the Murphy oil soap and clean them up and it does leave them really shiny and nice and neat and oil is just a natural cleaner so it works really well. So I clean the inside and the outside of the cabinets with the Murphy oil soap. You had me at a low. Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave 
This is the spice cabinet and um, I did have them down there below or I had some of the spices below in that um, Easy Susan or Lazy Susan <laughs> whatever you call it but I didn't really like them down there I don't like a lot on my counters and I felt like it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be to find stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and fit all the spices back in here I would love to have like a nice spice rack built or to do something different with the spices where they're just all easily accessible and you don't have to dig around to find them but that'll come later i'm sure and in this kitchen it is hard to find a spot to hang a spice rack because all the cabinets open to the wall so i don't know even know where i would put one but this works out fine too i just find that these little shelves help because it does um, give you some more room to put some more things in and all that fun stuff so it's a little more organized I keep the spices for the uh, cooking down below and then everything that has to do with baking I like to keep up here on the second shelf just so it's separated and I know like if I'm baking something I know where I'm gonna look for that stuff and if I'm cooking I know where I'm gonna look for that stuff so this is the drawer that we keep all of the cooking utensils in and it gets really messy because this is like the area where we prepare most of the food so it's coming off the stove it's, that's where we serve the plates and everything so this drawer always gets really messy really quick so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that really quick and like I said I'm just using Murphy oil so mixed with water it's one of my favorite things to clean with it's not too strong it smells nice and fresh I just really like Murphy oil soap um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out as well I'm gonna do this with all the drawers uh, I did not film like every single drawer and cabinet, but most of it I did film. Um, but at the end of the video, if you stay with me, there will be a kitchen walkthrough where I will show y'all where I keep everything and all that good stuff and show y'all how nice and neat it is to have everything organized. I got you 
you got me too. So the other drawer definitely gets a lot of um, traffic as well with the silverware and all that stuff. So, and we do prepare a lot of stuff on the island as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead. This drawer was not bad at all. It stays organized all the time. Um, but yeah, this is just where I keep my bags and stuff like that. And I love these from Amazon. I'll try to link those below to the little storage things for the bags. It just makes everything look nice and neat. They also have some, I know, for like the um, wraps and foils and stuff like that too. So now we are cleaning under the sink. I usually don't keep much under the sink. It's kind of like just a habit I got into. Even with the locks on the cabinets, I still just didn't feel comfortable leaving cleaning supplies down here. I just started keeping the dish detergent tabs down here now that Jeremiah is a little older, but it still kind of freaks me out to have um, harsh chemicals below the sink. Just, I don't know, I just freak out about it, but I get I got in the habit of like not keeping any, and I know most people that's where they keep most of their cleaning products is under the sink, but I would just always freak out with the baby, so I always kept them locked up on a shelf in the pantry room. But now I think I will start throwing some stuff under there here and there and the childproof locks under that sink are very strong so I'm sure he wouldn't get in anyway I always just always had the fear that somebody wouldn't close it right and then he could get into something but now we're cleaning where the pots and pans go and most of the stuff in the kitchen I did leave where it was it makes sense to me and that's another tip I have like organize your kitchen to where it makes sense for you the way that you cook the way that you move you know yourself you know your home and um, I know a lot of times we get hung up like with how our parents had it or how our grandparents had it but really just do what works for you you're the one cooking in here you're the one doing all the things in here so whatever makes sense for you in your kitchen go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Tupperware back in here. We had to go buy some more Tupperware. I think I told y'all that last video. Um, but I would like to go get just another batch of these. I'll probably get the round ones. That's what I had before. But we got the square ones. And they're very affordable. Like 7 bucks for that whole thing of Tupperware. Uh, and it does last quite a while. So now this was a complete disaster in here so I needed to clean this this is where we keep all of our like dishes and stuff like that the casserole dishes and things of that nature so I needed to clean up in here it does change a little bit because when I cleaned the other two cabinets on the other side of the kitchen I decided to put some of my mixing bowls over there and the strainers over there so y'all will see all that when I get to it but it just like I said, it felt so good to be getting all of this done, especially before the holidays. I don't know if we're going to be here for the holidays or if we're going to go out of town, but either way, it's just going to be nice to have all this done. This was the absolute worst cabinet. This is the cabinet where I just throw things in and it's absolutely horrible. I had been getting a lot of just kitchen appliances and stuff, so... I needed to go through them and figure out what we were going to keep and what we weren't going to keep and just organize it really well. We have this fryer down here and then we just got another fryer that my mother-in-law had brought us. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one out in the barn and then if we do need it, if we're going to have like a some kind of fry <laughs> party, which I doubt we will because we don't really eat fish. I know that's weird, but we really, we would never have like a fish fry or something, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Um, or in case anybody needs one or whatever. Uh, but yeah, this cabinet, like I said, I neglect this cabinet. I don't even fool with it. So it feels so nice to have it in use again. Like, really nice to have everything where it goes. And of course, this cabinet changes as well. I, I move a lot of these to the other cabinet. And I move my food saver to where I keep my Ziploc bags and stuff. So it made more sense. But I'll show y'all all of that when we get to it. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me Pretend, keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end. Lost my head over. 
this drawer was also one of the worst in the house it gets neglected I avoid it like the plague but once I got it done oh it felt so good so this is more like just like almost like a command station I don't keep any like kitchen stuff right here but I keep like pencils pens some school stuff uh, some rubber bands tacks some uh, little tools that we might need around the house just things like that I want to keep that in this drawer just so we know where it is at all times and we're not just running around the house like crazy looking for stuff whenever we need something so this worked out really well um, so yeah like I said I couldn't even open this drawer like as y'all could see in the beginning and now it feels amazing this is another cabinet that i'm absolutely embarrassed about but it's kind of just been out of sight out of mind and as you can see it has been over a year uh, there's a lot of christmas stuff down here that i just shoved back here decor that i forgot about um, these are my husband's records so definitely just miscellaneous stuff that has it none of this stuff serves a purpose in the kitchen at all so i needed to go ahead and get all of that cleaned out take everything out and um, I'm throwing a lot of stuff away I know y'all don't see that part of the declutter but I am throwing a lot of stuff away and whatever I am keeping I'm putting in a crate and taking out to the barn to keep in storage but yeah um, this was a major major thing for me to finally get this drawer and this cabinet cleaned like I said, I just neglect them. I act like they're not there, out of sight, out of mind. They're on the other side of the fridge, so we really don't use them as much. But now, I don't have to have all these appliances piled up on my countertop. I can have them down here. They fit nicely, and that's what I was going for. So as you can see, I moved some stuff from the other cabinet over here, but it just worked out better, and now I know where to look. This cabinet up top, um, I do keep some of the like most of this was just cluttered with a lot of the kids um, stuff so needed to vacuum it out and all I'm gonna put in here is my cookbooks and a few baking things but like I said if you stay till the end I will show y'all how all of that turns out I forgot how you look like in rain. That's where I never having trouble like I used to be able to pull the stove out all the time and clean back there but I had a hard time getting it out so I finally got my husband to pull it out and it was disgusting filthy gross really really bad and I used to and this is what I always say about having a lot of things so when we first moved in the house we did not have a lot of things we didn't have a lot of furniture we didn't have a lot of knickknacks really like just very bare and I when I would clean I would I had the time and the patience to clean all these you know areas that usually wouldn't get cleaned and now I see that the more stuff that we have the less I'm able to keep up with the deep cleaning so that's just a little tip and I think at the beginning of the year we're gonna be doing another purge <laughs> in the house because I've accumulated a lot of stuff and like I said it makes it hard to keep everything clean I clean my oven the easy way or well what I think is easy uh, I know a lot of y'all I I just I don't like oven cleaner I hate spraying it I hate the way the oven smells after I use it I just hate everything about oven cleaner um, I will use it on the racks sometimes but I don't like using it in the oven I'd rather just use vinegar and baking soda and this is my thing I just scrape it I get a blade um, and I scrape everything off and that's how I get my oven to look brand new again and it's nice and neat I don't ever scratch it I make sure it's very saturated before I start scraping it but that's how I clean my oven and that works for me um, I used to scrub with like um, you know uh, sponges and you know coarse you know sponges and stuff like that it just it, you're sponge you're scrubbing forever and it still seems like the black stuff is caked on there and it's never gonna leave it will leave if you get a 
blade and scrape it off and you're probably I, I don't want to I don't want to give you advice and say you're not going to scratch your oven I don't ever scratch my oven though because I make sure that it's you know nice and saturated before I start scraping it I keep it at an angle you would know if you were scraping the actual um, stuff off of the oven but it works well for me and that's the way I've been cleaning my oven the past year I guess and so it's just really quick and easy for me to do so yeah, that's how I clean the oven and it looks brand new again and I love that. So um, yeah, I hope you are enjoying this so far. If I sound a little weird or my voice sounds cracky, it's because I've been crying for hours. Uh, we just lost a horse here at the ranch and I was very close with her. So literally just this morning, like <laughs> as I was doing this voiceover. So uh, my voice is very cracked right now and just ugh. But we're almost done. I'm, now we can start on the exterior. And that's another thing. I do my vehicles the same way. If I'm going to clean something, I clean it from inside and to out. So I make sure everything's clean on the inside. And then we work our way from the top to the bottom. So now I'm just using the Murphy oil soap and going around and cleaning all the cabinets and uh, all that good stuff. So it just it made such a huge difference to see these all clean and shiny again they were caked with grease and it was just nasty so felt amazing to get all this done i can't wait to show y'all everything at the end i keep on driving to the still it feels like i'll pretend keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end as my head of humans back between the jars and bottle jug just a lot to take a butter knife and really get in those spots that were caked on or in the creases and all that stuff because it was disgusting in there I went all around every single thing in the kitchen I also went around the I'll show you all in a minute I went on the baseboards and got those all clean and I went around the floors to get those all clean as well I did forget to clean the top of the fridge and there was some kind of sugar something on there that was caked on so I thought I was done but when I got down I looked in the camera and saw that there was still sugar there so um needed to get that off but that's another thing that bothers me in my home is if my um, refrigerator is messy on top it just doesn't seem like the kitchen's clean without it so we're gonna use this little miss attitude uh, to clean the microwave I just put some water and vinegar and then I put it in for five minutes and I will show y'all how it steams up everything so it makes it really um, easy to just wipe stuff away without um, without spraying harsh chemicals so that works really well so i'm gonna go ahead and clean the microwave because it was pretty bad too then we're gonna clean the baseboards i believe and um all the appliances still need to be cleaned and all that stuff so still a little ways to go but thank y'all so much if y'all are still here with me and thank y'all so much for all the support and love on the channel i think we're a little over twenty thousand subscribers and i just i'm so 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 grateful so thank y'all so much
So I was just showing y'all what was for dinner. Uh, we've been trying to watch what we eat a little more. So we've been baking a lot of chicken and rice. And this one, um, I've made two different kinds already. This one tasted more like um, chicken with rice aroni. If y'all ever want to see the recipe for this, just let me know down in the comments. Or maybe I'll just do it one day. But it turned out really, really good. Uh, so now I'm just going to clean all the appliances. Y'all know I usually use my spray away glass cleaner for this but when I'm like really doing a deep clean I do like to use the stainless steel cleaner uh, it does clean very well and uh, it just takes a little longer which is probably why I use the spray away most of the time because with this stuff you I feel like you do have to use a lot more paper towels to get it completely dry and it does take a little bit longer but it does it's really nice um, so that felt good to have all that done for sure. So this is how dinner turned out and it was delicious. Um, so now I'm just going to clean the floors really quick. And um, this was day three. Finally getting it done. The last thing we have to do is sweep in here. And then we are going to go around the baseboards. Clean those really quick. And then we're going to steam mop the floor. And then I'll give you all the walkthrough. Won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love No, it is Way too late, but I just can't get my eyes of you Maybe we Will regret this But tomorrow is another day And I will do anything Anything to get your love Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck Yeah, gotta put on my face. I forgot that I saved the sink for uh, one of the last things that I clean Just because I thought I might be rinsing the rags out in here as I was cleaning So I wanted the sink to be the last thing that I did I'm just using some vinegar and baking soda to clean that and then it also deodorizes it inside so Smells better looks better. Uh, I scrubbed it down and then I dried it um, And then I did go back with some of the stainless steel cleaner and uh, Shined it up really good and it felt really nice to do all that then I'm going to go through and I'm going to clean the counters one more time. Even though they were pretty clean, I just wanted to freshen it up. Clean the countertops, wipe those down really quick. And then we're going to use the steam mop to clean the floors. I will have the steam mop link below. I get so many questions about it. And then we'll start the walkthrough. Because it's on. Now we're going to start the walkthrough. I'm going to show y'all where I keep things. This is where we keep the lids to the cups and straws and stuff like that. I keep the glasses and coffee cups up here. Um, nice, lovely, clean, shiny sink. And then over here is where we keep the plates and the bowls. And then I keep a few of the measuring cups and things like that up there. 
and then on this side we have the spices and the baking stuff and then at the very top I keep flowers and sugars and stuff like that and then down here I'm, I'm loving the lights down here we have the towels and uh, oven mitts uh, below there we have the Tupperware which is nice and organized which feels so good to be done love that just love seeing where everything is and knowing where everything is the pots and pans are nice and neat I don't know if they'll stay that way but we'll see it looks really good and then up here in the utensils it's really nice the baby did have the tongs for some reason I don't know he just came in here and got those but pretty much stays organized so we'll keep those there and then over here we have all the utensils that we eat with measuring cups and stuff like that can openers things of that nature down here we have all the dishes that we need for food so that's really nice and neat and then we'll come over here I um, as y'all see this drawer like I said always stays clean but I did put my storage I mean my food storage um, machine back here with its bag so we'll know where all that is and then down here is the party cabinet so we keep all of the liquor and anything that we would need for a party margarita machine all that stuff in one place so we know where to look for that if we have guests and it is also very child proof so that's a good thing um, then across here I just keep teas kool-aids anything uh, for drinks in this drawer and then down here I have my mixing bowls my strainers and then a few more dishes that didn't fit in the other one and then up here is our medicine cabinet I just needed to just touch that up a bit it was a little messy and then a little note from my daughter uh, up here the fridge is all nice and neat up top and then this cabinet is where we have some of our cookbooks and then some more baking um, things for the kids and then a few of their school stuff um, just some game cards flash cards and then just a few of their workbooks uh, some of their stuff is kept in their rooms and then down here we have the nice and neat little command station where if we need a pen or a notepad or scissors or just anything we need we have it right here and we know where everything is which is really nice then down here I'm obsessed with this cabinet having all these things here in one place I know where everything is and they don't have to be on my countertop anymore so I love that I love the way the kitchen turned out I also cleaned the lights above the island so there were a few things that I cleaned that I didn't show you on the video but literally from top to bottom the kitchen is so clean thank y'all so much for watching I love you all take care of each other bye guys